In this video, I'll we'll walk through an example of a mixture problem. Our example is, how many gallons of distilled water must be mixed with 50 gallons of 30% alcohol solution to obtain a 25% solution? So the first thing I'm going to do is understand the problem, and then we'll define a variable and, and set up the equation. So what is happening? Well, we have 50 gallons, initially, 50 gallons of this alcohol solution. So I'll just draw a rough sketch here. We've got this container, and it is filled with this solution, and 30% of it is alcohol. There are 50 gallons, 50 gallons of this. To this, to this container, we are adding some pure water. This is just pure water, no alcohol in in what we are adding. And because we are adding water to this solution, we are diluting it, and so it will become a, a lower uh, percent of, of alcohol. But the amount of alcohol is not changing. So, so 30% of 50 gallons is 15. So 15 gallons of this is pure alcohol. Okay, and, and I'll come back to that point because that's important uh, when you're setting up these problems. You want to understand what's, what's happening. Okay, let's define this variable. Usually the variable is, is defined at the question. How many gallons or how far is it or uh, how long, whatever is being asked is usually the variable that, that you're going to define. So how many gallons of distilled water? So I'll just say x equals the number of H2O, number of gallons, number of gallons of, of water. All right, we will, we will use that. Now, to set up the equation, like I said, the amount of alcohol is not changing. We're not adding or, or subtracting any alcohol, any pure alcohol. So the, the alcohol in the beginning must equal the alcohol at the end. That is, after we've added the water, the amount of pure alcohol will not change. Well, how much alcohol is that? Well, I alluded to that just a second ago. And that is, in the beginning, we have 30%, 0.3 times 50. 30% of the 50 gallons is the pure alcohol. So that's what we have here. And that equals the amount at the end. Well, the amount at the end is 25% of the total volume. So it's 0.25 times the new volume. And the new volume is the original 50 gallons plus x, plus what we are adding. So I'm going to denote that real quick. I'm just going to mark that off. What is in parentheses here is the new volume. Okay, now, before we go on and solve this, the rest of this is not too difficult to solve, but I want to make uh, a note here that, of course, not all the mixture problems are set up the same. You, you might be adding alcohol or you might be adding a, 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 a certain uh, percentage of, of alcohol to this that would make it a little bit more involved. Uh, so read it carefully, but, but the process is the same. Understand it. Define your variable, know if the amount of alcohol is changing or whatever it is that is in this dilution, in the solution. Okay, let's run through. Solve this, change to yellow, and we've got 15 equals 0.25 times 5. I'm just going to distribute here. 0.25 times uh, 50 is 12.5 plus 0.25x. Subtract 12.5 from each side, and you get... 2.5, that equals 0.25x, divide by 0.25 on each side, and that gives you 10. 10 equals x. You can plug it back into this equation and see if it comes out true. It does check there. So let's answer this. We need to add, what does x stand for? Well, it stands for the number of gallons. So add 10 gallons of this pure water. 
And there was a nice example of a mixture problem.